How's it going guys? In today's video we're going to be going over how we can generate some very strong passwords and the program is going to look like this so as soon as we run it it's going to give us five new passwords that we can choose to customize the length the amount of symbols and whether it's uppercase or not and as you can see right here they are very powerful and hard to guess. So if we go ahead and copy one of these and go to this website which is security.org and paste it inside you're going to notice it's going to take 200 octillion years and if you write a simple password such as the cat in a hat 1999 that's going to take a long time but it's nothing compared to these secure passwords and we can even make it easier we can change the length to 12 take away the symbols set that to false and take away the uppercase letters and when we generate it, we're going to get these very simple passwords. But for the best results, keep it around 20, keep the symbols turned on and keep the uppercase to true because nothing can beat that. And once again, if we copy a random password here, it's going to take three sextillion years, which is a number that I actually don't even know what that number looks like. But let's go ahead and get started immediately by creating a new project. And it's just going to be a plain Python project. You can call it password gen or whatever you want and click on create we're going to open this in a new window now we don't really need any of this so go ahead and remove that but what we do need is to go ahead and import string and to import secrets because we want to get true random numbers and all you need to know is that the random package is not as random as the secrets the secrets is much much more random and can be used for this kind of stuff but the first thing we should do is create a function called generate password and inside here we're going to create a length of type int the symbols of type boolean and whether it's uppercase of type boolean and first we want to get the combination of characters that we can use. So to do this, we'll create a combination and we're going to refer to the string dot ashy letters lowercase. So this is going to be the starting point. It's only lowercase letters plus string dot digits. So now we only have lowercase letters and numbers, but we want to let the user decide whether we want to include symbols or whether we want to include uppercase letters. So here, go ahead and type in if symbols is true, we can go ahead and type in combination plus equals string dot punctuation. And if uppercase is true, go ahead and type in combination plus equals string dot ashy uppercase. Now the combination length is going to be set to the length of the combination combination and we're going to need this later when we are picking random symbols from this combination we want to make sure we don't get an out of index error and the new password is going to be set to an empty string now for nothing in range because we're not really going to use that so we can just insert nothing there we're just going to insert the length of the password that the user wants and the new password is going to plus equal the combination of secrets dot random below. And inside here we type in the combination length. So this is pretty much the same as using random next int where you insert the random numbers that you want to generate. And the combination length is going to get the index of every single one of the characters once it goes through all of this. And finally, we want to go ahead and return the new password. Now we can go ahead and actually print this. So go ahead and print generate new password. We'll give it a length of 20 followed by the symbols, which will be set to true. And we don't want uppercase for some reason. So we'll go ahead and say uppercase will be set to false. Now, if we run this, we're going to get this crazy password over here. And we can also remove the symbols and generate it again. And we're going to get this one over here. But let's go ahead and set this to true and set this one to true and set this to, let's say, 10 characters. But now let's go ahead and pretend we want to generate several of these passwords so we can pick one that we like the most. We're just going to go ahead and type in four underscore index in enumerate 
range of five. So we can see what number of passwords we've created. And we can go ahead and put this inside. And we need to add a comma because right here, we're going to go ahead and insert the index plus one, insert another comma, followed by this colon. And that's just going to format it nicely so we can see which number of iteration we're at for the current password. But now if we go ahead and run this, we're going to have this list being printed to us each time. And we can even print 100 random numbers if you want some more. As you can see, we just generated 100 of them and we can copy these and go ahead and test them if we want. So this one can be guessed in 17 years. So let's go ahead and increase the length to 30. And now let's pick this random one at the end and insert it inside here. And this is 200 duodecillion years, which is also a long time. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And I hope you found it interesting. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.